Hey guys, James here. Jimmy shaves a lot. Uh, today I'm going to do another shave. And I'm going to try something that um, I was told isn't very good. Well, so first I'm going to use my gym, Micromatic Clog Proof. Uh, and I'm going to use a blade that I was told wasn't the best blade. It was It's a stainless steel blade. It's a gym scientific. Uh, it's a single edge. I don't believe it's coated with anything. Don't Don't quote me on that. But this is a blade, Gem Scientific. It's a uh, stainless steel. I know that much. And I mean, like I said, my uh, clog proof to use it. Now this clog proof is the one that I had done repair on. The nub was broken off when I got it, and I had uh, made one and put it on myself. Now I've done many shaves with this, many quality, consistent shaves. So I do believe this is a acceptable tool to try the blade out. I am going to be using <laughs> very little of this left, but it is some of my favorite. It's Vanillet Soap of the Gods Green Irish Tweed. It's got the land. No, uh, let's see. Steric acid, coconut fatty acid, goat milk, aloe, glycerin, potassium hydroxide, castor emu coconut oil, meadow foam, tallow, lanolin, olive oils, cocoa, cocum butters. This has got great, this has got skin, food in it. Everything that you need it is in there. My goodness. I will be using the 1305. It's got a heck of a break in going. And as I show you, I'm gonna kinda of just tell you how I broke it in and maybe a couple ways that you can accelerate the break in process if you didn't already know. Uh, I'll just tell you how I did mine. and. Um, I'm gonna hop in the shower. I will do my prep while I'm in there. You don't come with me for that part. Alright, fellas, I am back out of the shower. And splash with some cold water here. Don't want too wet. I use the cold water because it keeps my skin tough and and I just I like it. it I, I don't get as much of the irritation and sure it makes your beard a little stiffer. But I find that it gives you a nice, clean, severed cut as opposed to mm, that sharp edge. And I like to use my fingers to work this pre-shave in. It's the same Prasso green pre-shave. Gives you a nice methylated feel. Alright. So, I've had... The brush soaking in this old 70s cup from Old Spice. I don't think it's really a shave mug. It might have been a coffee mug. But I use it to soak my brush. Drip some of that stuff out. And I like to um, just load straight from the, uh, from the tub. I'm going to go ahead and put this blade in so I don't have to do it when my hands are slippery again. This is a gem scientific. Uh, shaving with Fuzzy, we've been talking through email, and he had mentioned that he didn't like these. And I've not tried them yet. I told him, you know, that I had gotten some, and he said, yeah, he doesn't really care for them. But he told me if I used them to uh, let him know how it was. So I doubt he'll ever see this, but if he does, Fuzzy, this, uh, Using this blade for you, buddy. Alright, to the ladder. I'm so sad that that's it. 1305. Alright. So, uh, my brush is, it's very, um, very broken in, and it didn't take too long. It's really one of those processes where you're just so like god oh, man every I just got messed with it every day I want it to uh, to break in I want it to be great I want it to be soft and really once you get a, a, a board brush broken in the tips are soft oh wow you it rewards you big time because the tips they I mean they I mean look how much that's already getting this my the tips in this are so soft and I'll tell you a good couple ways to uh, to break it in like real real fast not real fast real fast but just a really high quality break in you know 
the first day you'll want to uh, put it in some water and some dish soap and let it sit in the fridge for a night and then do it again the next day and the next day that'll get the smell out but after you uh, shave with this brush use you a soap that has a lot of acid in it like steric acid maybe even another kind of acid and um, go ahead and leave lather that up and then leave that soap on the brush and I mean do that overnight once you do that the acid gets in there and it'll it'll break the hairs down and it'll make the tips real soft and I mean it is just it's fantastic and not only does it do that it does it quickly it works on boar hair brush or uh, horse hair brushes it'll cause those tips to soften up a lot faster than if you were to take the um the soap out so Jeffrey Smith had mentioned in one of his videos that he uh, will leave a brush loaded and I don't believe the reason why he did that was to break his brush in it was just so it's speed things up a bit you know when he was shaved it's already loaded up and ready to go but what that's also doing is making that uh that brush break in nice it's softening it up and uh even Douglas Smythe from Phoenix has a video where he mentions doing the same thing very clever man he is alright this is about where I want it it's good and thick and hydrated I, I love Vanny Lay soaps I absolutely love them Jim Micromatic clog proof with a gem scientific blade and let's see how they are. I have about 24 hours of beard growth. Oh wow. Um I shave about the same time every day. I still have that pimple I gotta look out for. If you've never used a gym razor, uh, oh shit, ran over a pimple. Speed bump! If you never used a gym single edge, you, uh, I would definitely recommend it. I, I, I reach for this more often than not. I almost have to talk myself into shaving with a DE sometimes. I just, I love how these shave. I think they're wonderful. And it doesn't take too many um, passes to get it done. I just, I really like these. Wow. I mean, that's almost to the skin. I mean, really, it is to the skin. My goodness. Oh no. I broke it. So, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> so far, so good. I'm going to wipe some of this off here. Wow, look at all that that just came out of my beard. So, what I like to do is um, splash a little bit on my face from with what's on here because that soap in the brush sometimes 
it'll want to dry up just a bit and uh, I mean just a bit so if you put a little splash on your face to kind of keep it oh wow did I cut myself there too nope just a little bump may have been another pimple I break out a lot when I don't um, or when I go to work after I shave because uh ew. I'll shave and then I'll uh, I'll sweat you know and that sweat will cause me to uh, get a bit of irritation now it's not terrible irritation but it's it's rather annoying you know so I don't do it against the grain passes because of that reason uh, I will do against the grain or cross grain jeez I'm all clustered up the flutter just <laughs> anyways so far this gym blade's not bad he's definitely getting the job done I think I got 10 of them was roughly um, 4 bucks I think from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements I really like that website I'll tell you something else if you guys want to uh, try something that's more it is artisan made but one of those less known places go to Etsy and look up M's place gifts I'll put the um right here the the, the link or just what it's called um I'd really recommend checking that out. She uh, hand turns brushes and puts and puts knots in them out of any kind of wood she has. A lot of times it's like ash or or um, leopard wood and stuff like that. I mean, they're just really good quality. And some of the brushes she'll put high mountain badger in some of them she'll put best badger or finest badger um, I just really want people to know about her so she makes this aftershave that has essential things in it that like oils and nice oils and uh, witch hazel and I'm just super impressed by the stuff she has the um, the thing I'm kind of having in mind right now that I'd really like people to try is her shaving creams now they come I'm out of mine or I would show you uh, it comes in like a little pump bottle and uh, she has them in different scents such as uh, bay rum and menthol and just your typical stuff lime and whatnot all right fellas I'm I'm not gonna do a third pass I mean the only spots I need to touch up are right there so I will do that though um but the, it lathers up great. It doesn't have tallow. It's a glycerin based stuff, but it's loaded with glycerin and stuff that's good for your skin. And I absolutely would recommend it to anybody. Again, I'll put that link up. She has a website and an Etsy store. And I would tell you, I would recommend it to anybody. Absolutely anybody. I was so impressed with the stuff she had. I mean, it's just the the shaving cream explodes in lather. I mean, it is incredible. You would almost not believe that it works as well as it does. All right, fellas, I'm gonna wash this off. Just save a little time. I'll stop the video and wash this off. So I have to say, 
I did go over a pimple, and uh, it did cause a little bit of blood. I'm not sure what that's about. My face doesn't feel raw, but that did feel a little bit rough. I mean, I'm, it's a close shave. Good lord, it's close, but it's 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 rough. I can feel it. Ooh yeah, Alum. Ooh, got me there. Yeah, this is a bad shave. This is bad. This hurts. Mmm, what? Hmm. Wow. So I'm gonna let this dry. Wow. That hurt pretty good. Now while I let it dry, I'm gonna rinse my brush out. Um... Mine's already broken in, so I don't really leave the soap in it anymore. But really, think about trying that. Um, just leaving the soap, or just get you a good lather on your brush, and um, and just leaving it sit in the bristles for a bit overnight. Rinse them out in the morning, and you'll notice how how much softer those tips have become. And uh, I can almost promise you that you'll be more than impressed, you'll, you'll be satisfied, you know, because boar brushes, they take a little while to get where they need to be, but if you just have patience with them, I mean, they, they will reward you with, with a very nice shave. Alright, so this is the uh, aftershave that I got from M's Place. I've almost used it all. I put it in this bottle. This isn't the bottle that it comes in. But I'm going to use this first. It's witch hazel and whatnot because that was a bit of a rough shave. Let me wash off this um, alum. Bunny towel. Wow. Sorry, fellas. That having trouble concentrating. Now, also, I think <laughs> the piece that I put on my razor it cocked sideways, so I have to refix that. But I couldn't feel it. I couldn't really feel the difference. It wasn't causing me any pain but I will come back to this after I fix that razor or just get another one because I see them for pretty cheap like 10 bucks and I have 10 bucks right now alright make sure to keep your mouth closed when you use this if you spray it so wow that already that feels great I mean it's soothing and witch hazel has those natural properties that uh reduce inflammation. It's an astringent so it cleans. Yeah, you see this? It, it's got me. So that was a gem scientific. My goodness. Um, I am gonna use aftershave because I like to beat myself up like that. Wow. I mean, I've got, I've got some redness. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna Attribute that to the fact that my razor had uh, malfunctioned as opposed to the gym blade was that bad. I mean, but that blade, I it was rough at first. Oh, and this is uh, my Clubman in the vintage Avon Skin So Soft bottle. I think that's super neat. But just regular old Pinaud Clubman. It's got... Clubman, it's got a good burn to it. I don't care for the smell, and the classic barber shop is not that great to me. But what this does do that I like is it tones out. Mm. It definitely tones the skin up. Jeez, oh, Pete. And it's got a nice burn to it. So if you want to hurt yourself a bit, reach for Panade. Crap on the sticks, huh? Alright, fellas, I'm gonna go tend to my wounds. I'll put up 
some of the links to some of these things that I like and see if uh I can't even concentrate the way that burned. Anyways, thank you for watching. Apologize for this video being so spaced out. I'm a little bubble headed this morning. But thanks again. Jimmy shaves a lot, hurts a lot.